Uh, let's go to Mexico right quick, and I'll try to keep within my time, go over a couple minutes. Um, are there places in Mexico that the government of Mexico does not have control? Um, I think you see uh, significant insecurity in, in, in parts well, of Well, my question is, are they ungoverned? Are there sure places? There are yeah. individual yeah. places, communities. There, are, are there drug very, very cartels common. in control of parts of Mexico, not the uh, government of Mexico? I think that's, it's fair to say yes. Okay. Uh, do you agree with the, the following statement, that fentanyl coming from Mexico is killing Americans by the tens of thousands? Uh, it is, and it's also killing Mexicans. Yeah, uh, well, do you agree thousands. it's now time to change our policy because it's not working, or do you think it is working? Um, I think that, Senator, first of all, you're exactly right about the insecurity in Mexico. As I said, the Mexican uh, people themselves are the uh, number one victims of that insecurity. The Mexican government... Are more Mexicans dying of fentanyl poisoning than Americans? Currently, no, but it's a, it's a, it's a growing problem. So how many have died in Mexico from fentanyl um, I don't have the exact numbers. Well, 70,000 died last that's, year that's alone in the United States. Do you believe our policies toward drug cartels and fentanyl coming from Mexico, that those policies are working? Uh, they, they, need to, they need to do more. They need to be more effective. Here's one way we can do that. One okay. way we can do that is making sure that we have, for example, the technology on our borders uh, to uh, detect and intercept the fentanyl. 96% of the fentanyl coming to the United States is coming through legal ports of entry. We have the technology that can catch a lot of that. Yeah. We need to deploy it faster. Well, That's exactly how about this idea? Rather than just interdicting at the border, we go to the source and declare Mexican drug cartels foreign terrorist organizations under U.S. law. Mm -hmm. Would you consider that? Uh, yes, we certainly consider that. And I that would help us with China because if you provide material support to a foreign terrorist organization, mm -hmm. you could be prosecuted in U.S. courts. They're also transnational criminal organizations, and that brings with it... Uh, That's what they are today. I yeah, want up, that, I want it's not up. clear to me that, the, uh, again, that we would get additional tools or authorities. It's worth pointing we out... We would with China, Mr. Secretary. TCOs cannot, material support doesn't bring you in U.S. courts. FTO, mm -hmm. material support for an FTO would capture you in U.S. courts if you're a China company. Mm -hmm. So please consider that. I would say our policy is not working. I want to introduce a map. This is travel advisory map. The State Department tells you where to go and not to go in Mexico. The red is getting redder. And, uh, Mr. Secretary, uh, enough with Mexico. Obrador is going to call um, Chi. Great. I'm not looking for a phone call from Mexico. I'm looking for action on their part. I'm willing to do a planned Colombia-type effort with Mexico. But I'm going to put the Mexican government on notice and your department. When it comes to the poisoning of America, we're going to take different action because what we're doing is not working. And this is not a confrontational statement. It's a statement of fact. They're killing more Americans from being poisoned by fentanyl from Mexico than we lost in the entire Vietnam War over a decade in a single year. And the leading cause of death in America from 18 to 45 is fentanyl poisoning. Uh, Senator, enough is I, enough. Thank I absolutely you. share your, uh, Thank your you, priority Secretary. and focus on that. Thank you, Mr. Secretary.